Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm gonna to go over how to use the drill driver, and then I'm also gonna go over what this clutch mechanism here is, and then we're gonna run some experiments with the torque wrench to actually figure out what these torque settings on this clutch are. So before we get started, let me just talk a little bit about this Hercules drill driver. It is battery operated, it is 20 volt battery pack, and it is two and a half amp hours. So that tells you it could run one amp for two and a half hours or two and a half amps for one hour. There's a test to see how much battery power you have left. So I can see right there, I have a full charge. And then this clever um, hook on the side is so you could hang it on, on your bags while you're working on a job site. Next is a trigger mechanism right here. How this trigger mechanism works, it is a variable speed trigger so as you turn it on and you push this trigger it goes slow and the harder you pull on it the faster it goes this switch in the middle here is clockwise counterclockwise and lock so it's a right-handed drill when you hit it with your right index finger it puts it in forward when you hit it gently and it's stuck in the middle that's a lock setting and then your thumb is counterclockwise and that's a counterclockwise setting. There's a speed setting on the top. This has two speeds, a one and a two. And the faster it spins, the less torque you have, or the slower it spins, the more torque you have. Speed to torque are inverse relationships. This is called a keyless chuck, meaning that you could take the bits in and out by just loosening this up by hand, rather than having a drill key to have to do that. A lot of these are referred to drill drivers because you could put a screwdriver bit in there and drive screws in with it, or you could take out that and put in a drill bit and drill holes with it. Again, it's really easy to do with that keyless chuck. You just grab it by hand and, and loosen it up or tighten it up by hand. All right, with all that said, then we go to the clutch mechanism right here. This is really ingenious. And very few people actually know what this clutch mechanism is designed for. So it's a slip clutch. It has settings from one to 17. And then that setting right there is like a lock setting. So it doesn't slip at all. So on the one right there, it slips really easily. So I'll go forward, I'll hold that chuck. I'll tighten that up and listen for it slipping. So I'm gonna hold that chuck and listen for it to slip. That's the slip because it's at the lowest clutch setting. So that's really nice when you're driving a screw into soft woods and you want to stop rather than drill too far into the wood and mar your wood. As I turn it up a little bit, there's a clutch setting of seven. I'm gonna hold it again and see if I could hold it. You do have to be careful. There's a lot of twists in here that you don't hurt your wrist or elbow or the thing swings and hits you in the face. So there's seven and it's still slipping. But then when I get up to 13, it's hard for me to hold it. And then at 17, at 17, I can't hold it anymore. So I'm really curious to see what the actual torque settings on these are. Okay, so what I'm gonna start with, is I'm gonna use this torque wrench right here, and I'm gonna tighten up this nut to about five foot pounds of force. So on my torque setting here, I'm gonna set it to five foot pounds. So I'm gonna crank this. Let me make sure the camera's picking up the dial there. I'm gonna crank this until it starts to beep and say I'm at five foot pounds. So that's at five foot pounds. Then I'm gonna take the socket, put it on my drill driver and set it on the lowest clutch setting and see if it could take that nut off. I do wanna be very careful that I don't swing the, you know, that thing locks up and swings around and hits me. And I do have my safety glasses on. So I'm gonna, I can see one will not take off five foot pounds. I'll go up to three. That's not taking it off. I'm on eight. 11. 15. Okay, so 15 took it off. 10 foot pounds, I'll tighten this down to 10. So you can see I'm at a clutch setting of 17, and we'll see if it'll take off that 10 foot-pounds. Pretty torquey, you could see it really spinning, but it was able to release it. 
there is a difference between the capacity of this thing to drive on a nut to a certain foot pounds and to take off is a different capacity. Because as you're putting a nut onto a bolt, you have all that inertia so it'll tighten more than what it's able to undo. Now I'm clicking it to 15 foot pounds and I'm going to put the driver onto the socket at 17 clutch setting. Really spin it, but it was able to take it off. To start with on here, the maximum torque on this Hercules drill is 576 inch pounds. So 576 inch pounds, it's quite a bit. Let's do 576 divided by 12 and that's 48 foot pounds. So let me set this 3 8 inch drive torque wrench to 48. So we'll bring it all the way up to 48. Listen for the click. So that's 48 foot pounds of force. 48 foot pounds, a tremendous amount of force. Just because you're able to drive a nut on there at 48 foot pounds by specs does not mean the drill is going to take it off. I don't know what I was thinking here, and you can see how stupid I am. Watch this. I'm setting this thing at full capacity. You know it's not going to take it off. I'm worried about my wrist, and watch it. Ah! Oh, that hurt. I, I don't know what I was thinking on that one. That was stupid. Man, that was stupid. Here's a better possible solution. I have a 3 8 inch drive torque wrench, a digital readout right here. It is only five foot pounds as a minimum, and then it goes up to 100 foot pounds. And then I have the driver set right here, and I just have the drive mechanism of the ratchet, the 3 8 inch drive, locked into the chuck here. So I know you can see the torque wrench, and here's the ratchet. I'm going to set this clutch to like a low setting of six. It's on a one on speed. Let me hit the drive. And then the clutch is slipping on the drill driver. So let me turn it up a little bit. I'm at 12. Clutch is still slipping. I'm at 14. So 14 is hitting five foot pounds. I don't know if you saw a beep. You go up a little bit more. 15. All right, let me do that at slow mo on 15. It looks like it pops up to 9.8. I can't quite tell, but it certainly goes up past five. I'll do it again at slow mo. Let me hit it. That one looked like it went to 13, but I'm not too sure. I mean, I've watched this a bunch of times and can't figure it out. Now I'm changing it to 10 foot pounds on the, on the torque wrench and then I'm going to hit it the same 15 and see if it clears it. Doesn't look like it actually clears it. So I think that 9.8 is probably an accurate uh, measurement. A clutch setting of 15, putting out about 9.8 foot pounds of torque. Now I'm going to turn that clutch up from 15 to 16 and try it again. And you can see here, it's hard to read it, but you can tell whether the light goes on or not. And it looks like 16 clutch setting did not break 10 foot pounds. So I'm going to turn it to 17 clutch setting. So right here, it's on the 17 clutch setting. I'll hit it again, and it clearly broke the 10 foot pounds. I can't really read the numbers on there, but it, it, it clearly broke the 10 foot pounds. Now I set the torque wrench at 15, clutch setting a 17, hit it, and you can see it, it breaks at 15 foot-pounds of force. Reset the torque wrench now to 20 foot-pounds, and I'm still on the same clutch setting. No, I'm actually on the driver clutch setting now, so I'm at maximum torque, and it clearly breaks at 20 foot-pounds. 25 foot-pounds is now set, at the driver, the no slip setting, and it clearly breaks out. You can see the green light going on. I am getting a little nervous. I'm going to hurt my wrist again because there is no slip in here. Um, so on the setting, on the no slip setting, on the clutch, you could just see how torquey it is. It does look like it goes almost 
to 30 if I'm reading it correctly, but it clearly breaks at 25 foot-pounds of force. I'm going to stop here and not turn it up any higher because I don't want to get hurt. Remember, safety is number one. We could all make stupid mistakes like I did in this video. So really go slow, think out your process, and please be safe. Comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these experiments with the torque wrench and the drill driver. Thank you for watching.